Hi everybody! In this week's parsha, Achremot Kedoshim, well in Achremot, we read about the Avodah of the Kohen Gadol. The, the Kohen Gadol's work that he would do, the special stuff, for Yom Kippur. And in Yuma, Masechet Yuma, the Mishnayot described the prep time and how he would prepare for what he had to do on Yom Kippur. Kol Shivat Yamim, the seven days before Uzork et Adam, he would throw the blood, Maktir et Aktor, he would offer the incense, he would do all of the work to stay in practice because of his big day, Yom Kippur, coming up in seven days. But then the next Mishnah says something unusual, that on Erev Yom Kippur, on Erev Yom Kippur itself, right before Yom Kippur, what they would do is, Mavirin lafanav parim ve'elim v'kvasim. They would pass in front of him the bulls and the rams and the sheep, so you should be familiar. Now, we could understand, I get it, the Kohen Gadol, you know, he's got to be in practice, and it's good to stay in practice. So for seven days, he's doing all the Korbanot stuff. That's very important. But what, to pass in front of him a ram and say, hey, you know, this is a ram, that's what you're going to be sacrificing tomorrow. This is a sheep. Like, everyone knows, a ram, a sheep, you know, we know what those animals are. Why do you need to practice even that? I'll tell you what they're telling you. The idea here is, that for anything significant that's coming up, what you have to do is do some element of preparation. And even the simplest things that seem obvious, not, you have to take a moment and think about it and prepare ahead. Now, this applies to everything. If anybody wants I don't know, to be a Torah scholar, well, you just don't fall into it one day and then you wake up and say, well, you know, I'm a Torah scholar. You have to plan it and you set it up and you make yourself a little list and you say, this is what I'm going to learn today and this is what I'm going to learn tomorrow. Even these simple kind of things, you write yourself out a list is very, very helpful. That's how you get there. And we always like to talk about Israel in, in these Divrei Torah. When you're planning on making Aliyah, Aliyah, it doesn't just happen one day like, hey, whoops, you know, I guess I'm in Israel here, I'm living in Israel, I, you know, that just happened. You have to plan it out. And even the simplest kind of things you put on the list, okay, fill out the application, get a picture, you know, go on a pilot trip, all of those kinds of things, you have to prepare, and once you prepare, then it can actually come true and work out. Alrighty, everybody, have a good Shabbos.